On Scorpio Gang Gang Gang, hope all is well with you guys. To my OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. To my MOC, I love, love, love you guys. To the moon and back, you know that. To my day ones, my silent partners, God bless you all. I really, really, really appreciate you guys so, so much. This is a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your wine, your gin, your vodka, your douce, whatever it takes, Scorpio. We don't judge over here. Let those ads play if you see one for at least a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. Alright, Scorpio. Let's tap in and see what's going on. Somebody need eyeglasses. I just heard that plane thing. The ones they got don't work no more. What else? <laughs> what are the messages here? All right, so your first message is small offering here, Scorpio. So I feel like with this energy um, being your first energy, it says short and temporary offering. In between feeling awakened and unawakened, but refusing to let go completely. Stuck in a situation they cannot get out of and only can give you something small. So this is, I feel like this is about you giving small and I feel like this is about somebody giving you small too. I feel like this was a, a reciprocated energy with whoever this person was. But um, I feel like with you, Scorpio, I just feel like you just didn't give, you gave this person what they gave you. Yeah, this person could have been um, in another connection. Y'all's connection could have been, you know, not one about marriage or proposal. Y'all may have just been hanging out or whatever the case is. I feel like whatever this is didn't last long, but it's showing up. So something significant about this small offer um, being your first card is very significant, right, Scorpio? Let's just see. What else for Scorpio? We got to stop playing it small. Um, I, I feel like, too, you know, you just have to be connected to people that aren't playing small, that aren't giving you small offers. I feel like in this situation with this person, you feel like, Y'all even, Scorpio, but I feel like it's like you didn't pass a test because, you know, with you being your higher self, I feel like you shouldn't have breadcrumbed somebody just because it was breadcrumbing you. Like, you should have just got out of the shit. And this may be why later we might see that this person, whoever this small, per whoever this person was that gave you that small offer, and they could be returning with a bigger offer. But the thing about it is, how big is their offer going to be when they, re when they feel as though... You know, you and them were mirroring each other as far as the breadcrumbs you were giving each other. Who am I talking to? Yep, we got um, ghosted in the reverse. It says, I'm sorry I had to run, but I couldn't tell you how I felt because I don't even know how I feel. It was easier for me to walk away instead of having to explain myself. Yeah, see, I, I just feel like whatever this was with you guys, it was... It wasn't really all that deep, but it was because it's something about the the interaction of this these two people, of you and somebody else, Scorpio. It was like it was meant for y'all to make a connection and then separate quickly, if that makes sense. Um, you're pulling the masquerade in reverse. <sighs> it says I'm wearing a mask. By appearing happy and serene in front of others. When I am alone, I think about you and realize I would 
I was my true authentic self when I was with you. So, yeah, this person wants to come back really, Scorpio, and let you know that all the masks are off, basically. That they realize, you know, how, how much you really did add to their lives. This person is very humbled by it now. But this person is in a whole totally different, you know, vibration now. This person has did a lot of work. And that's why I say this person gave you this small offer in the beginning, but you reciprocated it. So it wasn't like you lost out on the shit. You, you wasn't expecting anything bigger they, they, and you didn't require it. Right. But this person is coming back now saying something about the way you altered their life just being you that makes them want to come back and revisit that. And make a bigger offer is what I'm getting. Let's see. What else here? This person couldn't do anything but ghost you, Scorpio. But it wasn't the ghost, you know, like, they wanted to make sure they, you know, like, this wasn't a ghosting of somebody. Because it's in the reverse of somebody doing something man manipulative. This is about self-doubt. This is somebody who's, you know, thinking about playing it big see and, and I, I really feel like that I feel like even this person was thinking that they were moving away from you to to step up to go higher Scorpio because this person did not know the real you either who am I talking to this somebody you was playing the game with but this somebody very significant and now you pulling the runner card here <laughs> this is getting juicy I love these cards pop of love Afraid of doing the work and selfish, fears change and the unknown, afraid of intimacy and unawakened, doesn't feel worthy of your time and energy and needs constant validation. See, that's who this person was. This is the person, though, you you got to see, you know, the ghoster in reverse. You got to see, you know, this person running away. But this wasn't a situation where this person was running away back to their wife or they, they had this third party going on and they just ghosted you. But no, this was somebody who was unawakened. This was somebody who was afraid of intimacy. And you made this people, you made this person, whoever this person is, you made them want to feel intimate. You made them want to know more about what is this intimacy because this shit changed who I was. I was my authentic self when I was with this person. How many of y'all know sometimes your authentic self is your higher self? Some of us so far away from who we really fucking is because of these connections, because of how we was raised, and because of all the things that people have put into our subconscious. Come on, bro. Like, I feel like whoever this person is, they're very sensitive to that. Divine feminine. See, this person is realizing that you're divine feminine. <laughs> that this shit don't happen no other way but this way with people like you. Because why, Scorpio? You already, you already your higher self. But you played us, you you gave this person a small offering, so it's a big question mark. But whatever you imparted on this person's life, that's why they want to come back and revisit. Because they want to give you, they want to see if they give you something big, will you give them something back big? You know, like the natural order of things. Like this would be somebody in the Bible that says equally yoked, somebody who meets your fire. You got the reinvention for your overall energies coming out in the reverse. It says, I'm trying to reinvent myself and release the old me. I took you for granted, disappointed you, and deserted you when you needed me the most. I want to come back stronger so I can build something. What did I just fucking say, y'all? Didn't I just say that? Did not this person want to come and offer you something big now to see if you're going to reciprocate something big? You already passed the small test. This person, the reinvention is in reverse. This person don't want nothing about you to change. He just want to see, are you, are you able to keep up? Who am I talking to? Ooh, somebody doing a lot of work now. Let me turn this fan on. It's getting good. Somebody doing the work now. Yeah, somebody flowing in this shit. The mask coming off. People going to get. Now, see, if I was to be one to ascribe to a twin flame energy, this would be it. This would be fucking it. And that's, and you know, that's why I just feel like, I think where I get lost with the twin flame journey is how it takes so long for them to get back and why they left and all this kind of shit. I mean, 
A lot of times they come back the second, third, fourth, fifth time and they're still with the same games. This person who you really didn't have anything significant with in the beginning, it was a very small beginning. For a lot of you Scorpios I just heard too, y'all got a lot of small shit finna be huge. It's finna blow the fuck up. Okay, you're going to be running back and forth to the bank is what I just heard. Yes, whatever this is, you're about to be pressed. Something is going viral, Scorpio. I speak that right now in the name of God. I speak that in the name of Jesus. Somebody is getting their shit right. Somebody, and then your, your person is too divine feminine, divine masculine. Compassionate, love, life, soft, understanding, renewal, healing, nurturing. See, this is what this person got from you. Even though y'all was in something small, your energy just magnetized this person. They didn't even go after, after this small beginning Scorpio, they didn't even go looking for nothing else. This person went and looked for their healing. This person went and consulted what they needed to consult this dark night of the soul. This person always had you in mind. It's almost like you... Ever since the encounter with this person, you just like strapped to they, around their neck straight right there in their heart. Like you just in their heart, all up in their heart space. Like this is the type of energy where this person, they ain't even, whatever amount of time it took them to get back to you, they don't, they're not even concerned with who you've been with, who you've been married to. What type, they just want to come right back in and see can you offer, can you kind of act this big offer, Scorpio. And this, you know what, now you're able to... Let this person know who you truly are. When they really see who you are, they, they now they have something to aspire to because you're still ranking higher than them. This person's smart, though. They just want to come see if you can reciprocate where they at so far. Now you finna see, can you keep up? See how it works, Scorpio? You ain't got to have these, fun, these damn trick games and people want to, you know, play all these mind games and manipulation tactics. To me, it's just a clean-cut story. If you somebody who's truly trying to get healed or you somebody who's truly trying to trying to master being a master manipulator. This person did. This person want to see what's up with Scorpio now. Like if I make Scorpio a bigger offer, what's Scorpio going to do with it? Make you a bigger offer than the one you offering Scorpio. Let's put that on there. Why is the small offering here for Scorpio? This was something short and sweet, y'all. It was short and sweet, yeah. The Six of Cups. But you never forgot about this person and they never forgot about you. So it was short and sweet. This could have even been, you know, deemed as like some type of friendship. Like, you know, friendship with benefits. I just feel like, you know, it was something innocent. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't, yeah, they ghosted you. Yeah, they was wearing a mask, but... Their mask is a different type of mask. Their mask is a type of mask that people, you know, that like I tell y'all, we grew up, you know, because our mom was Christian, we was raised Christian. We have these debilitating thoughts and fears because of what was given to us. And I feel like that's, that's this person's mask. This person is ashamed of almost like how they were raised or the things that they were taught. Um, you really made this person reflect, Scorpio, on a lot of things spiritually. A lot of things they couldn't connect until they, they had to feel it. This person, I feel like this could be an Aquarius. I, I just keep getting Aquarius. Um, because I feel like they, they, they don't feel much. They're more analytical than air signs. So I feel like this person's whole thing is, I got to fix me. They knew that. Who am I talking to? Yeah, the world. This person knew that there was cycles going on in his life. Generational curses. Childhood traumas, wounds. This person wanted to go get whole, Scorpio. To see what's the next step, step with Scorpio. What's the, that was something small, but is it something else? I, I really like how it was done, though, Scorpio. Because it really feels to me like whatever y'all impartation was about. It was, even though small, it was very significant to your purpose and to your destiny here. That's that's what I'm really getting. And it's actually fulfillment. Why is it fulfillment? Because, you know, y'all, you know, people automatically go back and forth with Scorpio. It's just a natural thing that they do. I don't know what it is. 
sometimes it feels like competitiveness. Sometimes it feels like jealousy. Sometimes it feels like tug of war. I mean, take it how you describe it. But this person with the page of Pentacles, see their, their tug of war is different. Their tug of war is about some for real shit, some real life shit. Like, you know what? Can they reciprocate what I got? My highest, my best. Can they reciprocate that? And Scorpio, you like where this person coming from because they're coming from a genuine place of healing. This masquerading in reverse this is in the middle of your reading. This person know they couldn't come back to you the way they were. And they know that even though they come, if they wanted to come back, they couldn't back, come back half cocked either. They had to be able to talk the talk. Yeah, the three of swords in reverse. What I say? Because Scorpio, all you, ha all you have to do is talk to somebody two seconds and you'll know if they healed or not. You would know if they release certain things in their life that be, that's been holding them up and debilitating them. And damn sure been reflective in their relationships with anybody. See the three of cups. This person realizes, Scorpio, that y'all got something together. <laughs> now, I just feel like this person found themselves separate from you. Because, that, I mean, really, you know, Scorpio, that's the only way it would have been with you anyway. Because, like I said, this feels like uh, uh, this feels like something that started out as like some type of, you know, connection of convenience. Not not like, you know, living, boyfriend, engagement. Like, no, this is like two people that was having fun together to me. But this shit going to end up being marriage. Being business, entrepreneurships, like y'all build a lot of stuff together because y'all are so in tune. Y'all are so tandem together, Scorpio. I love this energy because even when you go higher, this person don't get jealous or envious. This person get behind you to see, okay, wait a minute. Is this the highest you can go? If I help you, would you go higher? And then when they do that, this person got sense enough not to be jealous. They'll say, okay, wait a minute now. Me and her just move, me and her, her and I, we. See, these people, not they, they not from France. When they say we, they mean we. They check an account, they want we. The deed to the house, we. The title to the car, we. It's a we situation with this person and you. And it's, it's almost like it's implanted in them. This healing just almost like brung you straight stitch to their heart. Nothing else they could think about. Nothing else they wanted to feel but you. Why is ghosted in reverse? Because this person returned. And the ghosting they get, did for you did to you was so they could get their shit together. They, these people didn't want to be a burden on you. The ten of wands. This person quickly realized, Scorpio, even your small offers are bigger than theirs. Who am I talking to? This somebody who had good fucking sense. They knew when to let go and let God, and that's what they done. The Knight of Wands, this person just took off, Scorpio. They, they didn't even think about it. They didn't even, all they was thinking about was getting back to you, believe it or not, how they can make that happen, right? Because the Ten of Wands talks about lost focus. It talks about being overwhelmed. It talks about being stressed and burdened. See, you... You, Scorpio, it was a good thing that this was short-lived because this, the only reason it was short-lived because this person knew they couldn't keep up. I love them. I love a person who know when to say quit. They know when I say, they know when to, know when to just stop. Know when some shit done ended and need to go another route. That's, this is Knight of Wands. I love this Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands is somebody who's taking life by the horns and they're going to do the work. They ain't asking nobody for shit. They ain't even calling you and hoeing you, Scorpio, and they wish they could hear your voice every fucking day. But the mature, emotionally mature person that this person is becoming, they realize them contacting you right now would only mess things up or make it more complicated. Why? Because they know you don't want to hear nothing half caught about they on the way to getting this straight and that straight. No. This person know they got to come back bearing gifts. And I ain't talking about money. I'm talking about gifts of the spirit. This person got to be equally yoked. The ace of pinnacles. This person come back with a new offer. That's how you straighten the small offer. That's how you 
straighten the the offer that was before y'all that didn't work or that fizz out, right? You bring a better offer. We gonna stop thinking marriage and shit connections ain't business too. They they are business. Love love is minimal. That has to do with connection. The four wands. This person is bringing stability, not money. When I say stability, you. He's making you stable, Scorpio. He's anchoring to your stability. And it's okay because his stability anchors with your stability is how it's supposed to go. Why? Because this person continues to elevate as you do. The lovers. This person said, you know what? I ain't, I'm not going to go in there with a contract for her to sign. I ain't going to go in there and say, you know, Scorpio, I would have got healed. I love you so much. I just want to, you know, make you my wife. Will you marry me? Nah, that ain't, that ain't this person's nature. You know what they're doing? They, they, they're acting. They're, they're assuming the role of husband, householder in your life. You understand? They, 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 they not waiting on you to make a bark or a command, Scorpio. These people come in paying bills. The Ace of Pentacles. That's one thing I can take off you quick. That's how this person thinks. Male or female, switch and flip it. I can take the bird. I can take the lightweight off so this, this person can create. This person wants you to create. What's the masquerading in reverse? The lovers. Yeah, this is a strong bond. This show, this show fly right here. This show equally yo. This who you should have been linked with in the beginning. But y'all had work to do. The five of pentacles. Anywhere this person is without you, Scorpio, they're in the five of pentacles energy. They feel low, they feel lonely, they feel lost, they feel left out in the cold. And this person struggled with this, but this struggle made them, you know, actually do the work. This person don't want to live life without you. And they just got this strong, they got this strong feeling of knowing that it's you, the tower. I feel like this tower is just how it happened in this person. Like them ghosting you. I, I, I just feel like it was, it was self-destruction. The only thing this person know to do is run. And it, it made some type of big upheaval in your life, Scorpio, but you... I mean, in their life, but you moved on from it because to you, it was just, you know, it wasn't all that in a bag of chips. To this person, it was the Seven of Swords. Yeah, the Seven of Swords to me talks about, in this case, I feel like this is this person strategically healing themselves. This person, this person was on some type of frequency with you, Scorpio, of such, of such, some type of. Um, underlying understanding with the seven of swords, you know, in all the chaos, this person, this five of pentacles, the tower and the seven of swords, it's just like, you know, it's the energy of this person recognizing all the shit they got to do, all the walls they got to come down, all the inner work that has to happen with them in order for them to come back to you, you know, and when this person thinks about you know, how, 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 how else, how, this person is living in straight fear. When this person left, because this person's masquerade, like I told you, is not, is not fake mask. It's not a false person. This person is just operating on what they've been taught and what they've been through. The nine of cups, you've always been this person's wish fulfillment. The one thing this person want to do every day is come home to you, Scorpio. And hear about your day and hear about how you, this, you make this person laugh too. They never met anybody like you. <laughs> and they never will. The will of fortune. I can't make this person know what side of bread his butter, his side, he know what side of, of the bread his, is buttered on. Trust me. Trust me. The will of fortune. I'm telling you this, this going to be unexpected, Scorpio. This one of those life lessons. Um... That really moves you forward. It, it's not one of those life lessons that you, you know, you, you realize at the end of a heartbreak, that's what was going on. No, this is one of those life lessons where you think to yourself, you know, all this long while that you wasn't crazy. That that nine of wands energy you were in, that those boundaries that you set, you, you know, they, they weren't too strict. 
This person is showing you that what you imagine your partner being is who is everything that they are. Period. Why is the runner here? The six of wands. This person stopped running. This person stopped running because this person wanted to be with you. This person ain't concerned with who you've been with. The king of swords in reverse. They're just not concerned with the bullshit. They're not. <laughs> You don't have to lie to them, Scorpio. That's what I'm hearing. This person don't care how many bodies you got on you. I know that sounds crazy to say, but they don't. Look, the King of Cups coming in the reverse. This person don't care who hurt you in the past. They're here to restore. This person feels like they, they know you better than anybody, Scorpio, you ever been with because they are mirroring you. The page of cups in reverse. They're not coming with no sorry ass apology. I told you this person coming in paying bills. This person coming in running above um bath water. This person coming in rubbing feet. This person coming in praying for you. This person coming in actually listening to what actually happened to your day. Like this is the favorite part of their day sitting with you and you making them laugh, telling you about the person at work or you know what you had happen in your day to day. Who am I talking to? What else for this runner? This runner stopped running. This runner stopped running. This, ru this runner confronted, surrendered. That's what they done. This person knew, this person knew that they had to have something bigger <laughs> for Scorpio. I, I really get the energy of like Scorpio, this person don't even realize how you entertain them. But that's only because they know who, how dead they were inside and you did not. They were able to, you know, make you feel like they were meeting your fly or vice versa, Scorpio. Because really your fly wasn't small. You, this was something, this was something you volunteered for. This was something you just, I don't know what this was. Cutty buddy, I guess. But with the sun, this person realizes what truth is. You know, some, I know people that think truth. It's truth whether it hurts or not. But no, truth is truth is kindness. Truth is doing something, always doing things in a way where you don't have to hurt the other person. That's what truth is. My truth is not me telling you airing out my dirty laundry. My truth is not me being deceptive. My truth is just my truth. This is what I want in life and you do too and you telling the truth about it. You're not telling, you're not saying what I want to hear because you like my big booty or my, or my perky breast or whatever the fuck. You understand what I'm saying? You realize with this person, they, yeah, they like that if they're a man or, you know, whatever. They, they like the, the appeal of you too, Scorpio, but they respect the fact that you're a divine feminine. They want to protect you. They want to, they want no harm to come towards you. This how this person coming in. This how they coming back in. Clarify divine and feminine for me. The king of wands. See, this person know that they have to be action driven. They have to be innovative. They have to be able to keep up. That's all that means. They got to be sharp like you, Scorpio. They got to be optimistic. They got to be able to be a natural leader at times. Sometimes they have to be friendly. Sometimes they have to be a little bit rash. But always strong, always fearless and, uh, and honest. That boldness. That's what you're looking for because that's who you are. The four of pentacles. I'm telling you. This person, this person wants to make sure that you're secure, Scorpio. Sometimes I read the four of pentacles of somebody trying to hold on to you because they don't want somebody else to have you. But this is somebody holding on to you for your safety. Yeah, the hermit card is in the reverse. This person is letting you know they ain't going nowhere fucking, no fucking well, Scorpio. They'll never leave your side again. To death do y'all part. They really mean that. What I say, to death do you part. They want to get married. They ain't gonna rush you, Scorpio. They they know this ain't they know this ain't a sprint. They know this a marathon. They know you got a lot going on. What I say, your last energy out is the ace of swords. Oh, Lord, a breakthrough finally, a new beginning that finally gets you something that's truthful, successful. This is you overcoming limitations as well, Scorpio, because I feel like this person helps you leap over obstacles that you, you would have got over. Don't get me wrong. You could have done all this shit by yourself, but why do it when somebody is willing 
and coming from a genuine, honest place of just loving you. There's somebody who loves to hear you talk. Look at that. Look at the tape on the mouth. They just like to hear, you know, what happened in your day. They like how you narrate stories, Scorpio. This person is so enthralled with you. They don't have to hang around other people. Look what's on the bottom of the day, the two of cups. They don't have to hang around anybody. All they want to do is be with you. They, you know, y'all, y'all are in perfect ha harmony in tandem together. I feel like, you know, proposal and marriage is just, it's, it's automatically going to come. This is a sacred union. This is supposed to happen. You leveling up. This is two people that make each other level up on every every aspect of life in a good way. This is healthy competition. This is somebody who knows when to push you and somebody who knows when to back off. This is somebody who just goes and does it for you because they're trying to give you a break. This is somebody who's so in tune with you, they know what to do and when to do it. See, we ain't even had just that much where people are paying attention enough to know what we need. Lord Jesus, Scorpio, I thank God for this. I, I really do. I thank God that we're moving towards. Now we're actually seeing the fruits of it. It's actually materializing in our lives. All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, like, subscribe, join. Let those ads play for at least a minute if you see one. If you like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.